Hi, today we're going to talk about authoring and editing Panorama's Necto workboards. Now, the workboard in front of us contains a lot of different components. It has some grids and charts, some sliders and buttons over different products, and some KPIs. Let's see how we can create this from scratch. So I'm just going over here to the top and clicking on my new view wizard. And I can choose from a whole list of out-of-the-box workboard templates. I'm going to start with a blank one and click Next, and give this workboard a name. I can choose to save it to my public folders or to my private folders. I'm clicking the folder I want to save it in, and we'll call this Demo, and I'll click Finish. And I can start working with my workboard from scratch. Now, a quick orientation, I have some components here on the side which I can use. I add a view component, which is a grid with a chart, navigational controls, text controls, images, charts controls, web components, HTML components, and reporting services as a component inside the dashboard. I'll start by dragging this grid component into the workboard, and when I drop it, I'm presented with the option to create this from existing workboards or to create it from a new data source. When I click on new data source, I can connect directly to an analysis services cube, I can connect to Excel, CSV, or flat database tables using our quick and easy ETL and modeling tool. I can connect to reporting services as a data source and use Necto to analyze that data. And I can connect to a Power Pivot Cube, which is Microsoft's new in Mermaid platform. For now, I'm just going to choose Analysis Services. And I can choose from a list of predefined data sources over here. Or I can just give in the server name here on the top. And it's going to crawl the server and look for the different databases. And once it's connected, I can choose my database list, Contoza Retail, for instance, and choose my sales, and click Finish. And I'm connected my sales cube. Now I can do my slicing and dicing directly from here. So I can go to my geographies and replace that with my different products. And I can go to my calendar over here and replace that with different territories. Now, if I want to do some more advanced stuff, all I need to do is maximize this component, and I can get new features. First of all, if I'd like to focus on a specific time, so I can open up my time dimension and say I want to choose from 2009, November, I can slice on that. And if I want to add, for instance, exceptions into this, like we saw in the original workboard, I can just easily create an exception. And that was a bubble up exception. So I can create the blue exception that we had before, which was an exclamation mark. I can create it a bubble up and say that I want to mark anything that's at sales territory country that's under 0.4% of the level of average. And I'll click Apply. And I have that exception inside my grid. And now I'm ready, so I can collapse this back into the page. Now I can change out this layout and choose to see only the grid. And I can choose to make these exceptions dynamic as well. All I need to do is take a navigational control into the workboard. And Necto provides me these hotspots to help me place the navigational control on the board. I can place it on the left-hand side over here and start creating my new parameter. I want this to be over an exception. Okay, I can choose the initial value. I can say that the minimum will be 0 and the maximum will be 1. And I want this to be steps of 0 0.1. I'll just give this a format and click OK. And I have a slider that will actually help me control this specific exception and make it more dynamic so I can play around with this and turn it off and turn it on. Now, if I want to add a chart into this workboard, I can add an individual chart as well. All I need to do is drag the chart, and again, I have these hotspots that help me place this component. I'll place the chart over here on the right. It automatically asks me to which grid I want to connect to. I have only one grid, so it's connecting to that. And then I can change the bar chart into a pie chart, and I can turn it into a 3D mode just to make it a little bit more sharp. Now this grid, of course, is connected to the chart on the right, so anything I choose over here will automatically affect the chart that I have. Now this grid is product over territory. And say I want a chart on the top 
that's actually territory over time. So I can take another grid component, and again with my hotspots I can place it on the top. It's asking me again to which data source I want to connect to. I can create a new one, and instead of going through the process before, I can just directly select a recent data source and click Finish. And I'm connected to that data source. Now I can choose to focus on 2009, and I can choose to drill down all the way to a specific month. And I can replace, for instance, my geography hierarchy with the territory hierarchy, and change the layout and show only the chart. I wanted a different chart, so I had a line chart, so we'll just add that trend chart, and I can remove the legend just like I had it before. Now we had some KPIs here on the right, so I can easily add those in as well. Okay, I don't have to create them from scratch. I have a scrapbook which I've saved additional components that I've created before. So I have a sales performance KPI here that I can reuse. I can drag that in over here. And I have an order quantity one as well. So I can drag that as well and drop it in here. Once I'm done placing these components, I can unpin this control bar. And I can shift around some of these components. For instance, I can remove the tile over here and put no title. I can move this around to the side. You can see how simple it is to change different components, change different sizes. Now I believe we wanted a button bar as well so we can actually control some of these components regarding the products that we want to slice on. Okay, so again I can add another navigational control and put it here on the top. And this time, let's collapse this up and create a new one. And this time we'll choose my dimension numbers. We want this based on a specific view, so we want this calendar over territory. So I'll choose the calendar over territory. And we want it based on products. Okay, we want only selected members. And we'll choose some of these members. And add them over here. Okay, I can choose a member or a multi-member selection. Just keep it on Melter for now and keep it on all. And instead of slicing on all views, I want to slice on all views besides this one over here. Okay, and I'll click OK. I want my visualizations to be buttons and I want to keep it horizontal. Okay, again, I can play around with the sizes over here. So I can make this component a little bit higher. And now my buttons are actually connected to the chart over here in the different KPIs. And once I'm done, I can leave editing mode into viewing mode. And my workboard is finished and ready to publish.